Hello and welcome and you join us in Milan at the Black Douglas Motorcycle Facility. And here's Craig, my good friend, he's the one with the checkbook. There's me looking like Toad from Toad Hall and my father-in-law John, he's also come along for a third opinion. So who is the Douglas Motorcycle Company? Well it's the brainchild of this man on the right an Italian chap called Fabio Cardoni. Craig spotted an article in a classic bike magazine and he fell in love with it straight away. So we got a plan together for him and my father-in-law to fly out, join me in Italy and we'd travel to Milan and go to the facility here and see what it was all about. Fabio and his team had big plans for the company, launching sales in not only Europe but also Australia and America. Some very clever and talented people behind this whole idea uh, with uh, parts being sourced from Taiwan like the engine you see there, the frame welded together by Ducati and uh, a lot of other bits and pieces bespokely made in their workshops here in Milan. But alas emissions and regulations uh, put paid to the commercial viability and they stopped producing motorbikes shortly after Craig took delivery of his new one. Fabio gave us the complete experience that day, treating us to lunch, more test rides and then we went back to his apartment uh, where he'd got his design computer set up so we could huddle around and get this design right for Craig and in the end Craig chose this beautiful dark green colour with a gold and red pinstripe with brown leather accessories. You can also see you can change the uh, headlamp, Craig liked the more retro or vintage style headlamp and then you can change the colour of the exhaust, the various mouldings and cappings and so you can really go to town on making this exactly as you want it. We went back to the workshops then and talked a little bit more about the assembly and the engine is sourced from Taiwan and the frame is welded up by Ducati. And also a lot of the bespoke pieces are made in-house in their workshops here in Milan. And the total price in the end was approximately £10,000 delivered to the UK. Fabio as a businessman also wanted to raise awareness of the product so not only were there articles in classic bike magazines he also did uh, rallies and tours. This one particularly is when he rode his Sterling Auto Cycle all the way from Milan to Cheddar Gorge in the UK and hooked up with some other owners of the Auto Cycle. And here's the bike looking absolutely splendid on Craig's driveway in Hampshire after delivery. That beautiful green paintwork with the pinstripes and the contrasting brown leather and the brass rim around the bezel looks beautiful. Don't worry, we did get uh, a better looking number plate put on there and uh, also look at the extra attention to detail with the brass nuts there. And of course that lovely big retro headlamp. Here are a few more pictures just to finish off with. It does look absolutely splendid and I tell you this thing has such a sense of occasion even if you're just sitting on it. Riding it around, the smiles you get from everybody as you go, it's just something to treasure. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many more videos which I'm going to do for my channel, Jordan River Scott. Please like and subscribe and you'll see much more of what we get up to in the future.
Bye-bye.